my name is Amarachi Obiano and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I do videos on lifestyle, fashion, as well as talk about things I'm very passionate about. So if this is something you like, then you should consider subscribing. If this is your first time, hello. Thank you for coming here again. If somehow this isn't your first time and you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. So today, finally, I'll be revealing my room. I've been waiting to shoot this for a very, very long time, but I had one or two things I needed to put. If I'm being honest, this room is not 100% complete. I would say it's 98%, but I am good to go. I'm really tired of shooting in one spot, so I decided to film today. So just sit down, relax, and enjoy the video. See ya! Okay, so I'm about to open this door so that you can see what my room looks like. I'm very excited and I hope you guys love my room at the end of the day. Let's just get into my room. with this part of the room I would say I spend 50% of my time in because this is where I get my editing done if I want to you know just get into work mode this is where I spend most of my time here I have this very cute arrangement of a book I have this cup where I just put in my um, tripod Bluetooth remote so um, it's I like the fact that it's gold I also have this beautiful um, flower that is also sold on hall of frames just in case you're interested i have this pink diffuser that i really love aside the fact that it's pink i have a fragrance inside which smells really 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 good so i just love how this place turned out to be i got this chair from alibaba but we're going to be talking about it some other time um <clears throat> here i have uh, charger this charging equipment where I charge my phone and my airpods so this part is really I feel like it's very functional especially if um, we're, um I'm working there's a, there's a socket there so I don't need to stand up to get anything done I really love this piece it gives me sanity and those of you who have been on my YouTube know this is where I do most of my shooting because this mirror is quite famous on most of my videos so yes I spent most of my time here and that's what I really like about this space okay so let's talk about my bed space I love this space so much because obviously this is where I sleep and a lot of thoughts you know was put into making this bed and I'm really just really proud of the results so let us start from the lightning um, I like my space being very practical and I didn't feel like having a bedside lamp would be practical. I would say I use my bedside tables a lot. I either have my laptop, my phone, my camera, my prayer book, just anything on the table. So I knew the best thing for me to get was a pendant light. So this is really one of the cutest things in this room as well as the lights under the bed. Um, I decided to do that to give my bed this floating effect which I am so 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 happy about um, I had my carpenter make this for me same carpenter who made this is different from the person that actually made this made my bed so um, everything just came out perfect I had to use a rug after that because I personally feel like rugs give your room a cozy feel and that is what I really wanted for my room so I had to get this um, rug from the market here in Lagos then let's talk about my bed sheets um, I made these bed sheets myself I went to the market and I picked two fabrics here you're going to notice can you come closer please here you're going to notice um, there is a different material here and there's a different material here so i picked this up as well as this and asked them to sew it together to make my duvet cover um same thing i decided to use um, different materials for my for my pillowcases however the one i sleep with obviously has this material on it because i can't 
have my head on this particular material so yes all these things were made in nigeria by the way i obviously i bought the rug in nigeria but the furniture this my bed sheets they are all made in nigeria the bedside tables made in nigeria all made in nigeria and i'm just really proud of furniture makers because they are really doing a very good job okay so let's talk about the lights in this room um personally i like lights a lot from my pop you can tell please help me show them from my pop you can tell i have rope lights i have this tiny light i have a light here i have a light behind my mirror i have a light here i have a light here i also have very tiny ornaments that have lights in it my reason is because i really do like to get my room bright when i want to in case i need to shoot in case i need to take a picture i just want to you know i also have ring lights by the way just in case i need more but i'm somebody who is so big on lights i want to be able to get my room dark when i want to and get it really bright when i want to so i just feel like with the way i've played with my lights i feel like it brings it all together and there's this ambience that comes with you know having different lights let me see if i can show you guys this is what the room can look like when it's dark i don't know if you can like see very well just show them what down looks like <clears throat> it gives you a different you know ambience i don't know if you guys can see but i don't know but it, it, it personally gives me a different vibe and i really love it if i want just this light on i would i would um get that out if i want just this light on it gives a different mood if i want just this one on a different mood if if i want this one it gives a different mood so i lights are just very very important i don't know if you've noticed i also have another color here so it just really depends on how i feel there's always a light for every mood if that makes any sense so yes um i'm such a light person and a proud one so let's go to this part of my room one of the things i would always advise anybody who is struggling to create content in their space is you need to go light you need to go neutral and what what i mean by that is white personally i'm a white freak because i can always use this as my background i can wear any color of outfit and it's going to just you know because i am a um <clears throat> minimal person i like neutral colors i just feel like going neutral with my walls and my space will help me um you know create any kind of content with any color of clothes and it's just look perfect without looking too much that is how what i feel about white spaces so i decided to use white curtains um on my instagram you must have seen me take a lot of pictures i'm going to put some on the side um, so that you can see um, why I chose this particular curtain. Aside from the fact that it goes perfectly well with the room, I was very intentional with picking this color because I needed to use it for picture purposes. And I am really proud of my choice. There are so many other colors that will work and there are lighter colors if you ask me. There is beige, there is cream. I think basically those are the colors I would rather play with if I am looking to create content in my space so yes this part of the room i would say i really 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 love so let's move to this part of the room okay so we're at this part of my room i would always say your space is not complete if you do not have a frame on your wall so just in case you are looking for um, something to you know use on your walls make sure you visit at Hall of Frames because that's what your girl does for a living so yeah I decided to go with this massive wall art I really 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 love everything about this art I love the lady so I just feel like it works very very well I didn't want anything so loud but this is just perfect for this space I also have this little basket here where I keep things I reach out for once in a while I have this flower here 
also sold on Hall of Frames. So just in case you like it, you can use it on your dining. You can use it so in so many places. Yeah, but this is where I would normally keep it when once in a while when i just want to change up the look of my room or it's just basically one of the props i use when i'm taking my pictures but yeah this is where it is and i also have my my speaker here i also do um have my throw blankets which i haven't used um just in case i want to you know change up the look of my room i bought green because i feel like green goes with this color a lot and i also have a darker shade um i, I have a dark brown so you know just change this room a lot but i haven't used it anyway so that is what this basket is used for and yeah i love what the basket looks like i also ordered it from china very soon i'm going to make it i'm going to be making a video talking about places you can get items in lagos so make sure you keep watching my videos to know when i drop that particular video so yes i got this basket from china um I love the color. It has obviously all my colors in it. There, they are all. It's just neutrals. There's white and there's this. And I just felt like you know what, this is going to be perfect for this space. I didn't want too much on this space. I actually had to put a board on this because there's a window there that I didn't really like. So I transformed this space. I'm sure by now you must have seen it from the other video. But yeah, this is a board. Um, the window kind of made the window that was there made it look too much too tacky so I had to you know um, cover it up and I am so 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 happy with the outcome of this piece I had to also change the colors of my doors these doors came in with um, they were actually black these doors were actually black so um, I decided to make it white and I would say the best decisions I made was making this door white because the minute I did that it changed everywhere everywhere had more space it looked more warm so if you have something like that if you're someone who is confused or you have a room and with dark doors and you actually have you can have you can afford changing your doors to white please do it trust me you're not going to regret because i do not regret then i have this massive mirror here which i used to take selfies in um obviously my room every girl loves a mirror so i had to do this here then we are on my tv unit i really don't have much to say about this particular space but um, yeah, I had to go all white. I love the sea and that is why I actually got this particular ornament Then I have an empty um, table um, frame. I haven't decided what should go in there But yeah, then I have a picture of myself I still haven't figured out what to do with this space. It is not how I want it to be But for now this place is working and I am fine with it. So yes, um here I just have a humidifier to keep this room sweet. I will also talk about something I really love, candles. So I got this for my birthday and um, yeah, once in a while I burn it, but it can also, it is also, not it can, it, it is also used as home um, decor items. So this that's why I have it here. For me, it works. And here, yeah, I think I have covered practically every part of my room
into my closet. So let's start from here. Um, this is obviously where my clothes are. I'm not going to be opening my wardrobe because it's not the way I want it to look. But here I have my boxes and um, yeah, my yoga mats, few things I hardly reach out for. Then here I have my clothes, most of them hang, some of them in a brown box. Um, <clears throat> here I have my bags, just, you know, beautifully arranged. Mm, my friend's bags too are here because she's the one making this video and <laughs> clearly this is also her house, so I made space for her. Um, here I have my perfumes as well as this beautiful gold tray that is available on Hall of Frames. So what I have here is most of the jewelries I, you know, reach out for every now and then. So I just put them here and it has been, this is actually very functional and I feel like everybody needs it. If you have a beauty table, you need something like this. So, you know, throw in things that you reach out for every now and then. So yeah, then here I have my makeup. My makeup is this high because by now you should know I hardly make up so I put it here and brought my skincare um, space here because I'm always reaching out for this so yeah here I have my skincare products I think I have my box of hairs here then here I just have I have barely nothing here just this decor so yeah um, this is all for here then here I have my shoes um, then here we have cake. Cake. Hello, cake. Hi, cake. <laughs> so cake is my baby. I've had him for, um, I think five years or six years now. I've actually had him for a long time. I moved with him when I was moving to Lagos, all the way from Abuja. Then here I have this massive mirror, cause a girl can never have enough mirrors. So this part of my, um, walk in would be just to talk about this beautiful set of frames i have here um i'm sure by now you would have seen i just installed it some days ago i had this funny enough in my old apartment so i would say i used it two years ago i just brought it out because i didn't want to do anything new for this space i used this in my old house like i said so um, i decided to hang it here and honestly speaking i love it the colors are I know I am a neutral person, but I also love pastel colors and yeah, this is, um, I feel like this works very, very well. It gives this place, you know, a very fun look and I would say, um, yeah, I would say I love the outcome of this space. Then to this part of the room is just the door leading to my toilet and of course there is a frame which I think I will still reduce the size but it says get naked you know i just love how it sounds because that's what you're supposed to do when you're in here get naked so let's get naked guys <laughs> Why don't you like white towels? And I'm like, 
Why? What is wrong? But yeah, a friend of mine got this, and honestly speaking, I really love. So thank you, Ijoma. Um, yeah. Um, this blind I had to put here. I decided to go white because every other thing in this place is white. Okay, so we are here. This part of my bathroom is obviously where I get my teeth brushed as well as you know night skincare etc this is where it happens um i really do love this beautiful orchid or orchid plants i have i've had it for a while i had it in my old house and when i put it here i knew it was not living i really love how it you know made the space look very beautiful yeah so this part of my room um sorry of my bathroom is pretty much simple i don't have much to say um here i have you know my white baskets where i keep um things i i reach out for once in a while so yeah um i think that's about it for this part of my bathroom then inside here i have thankfully the, the owner the person that built this house had sense so he you know did this and i just have like my skincare uh my cleanser this is idioma's own um yeah we just have our things arranged here things we always use when we're bathing our soap then i also put this very cute um you know plant i got i think three years ago also i put it here and i really love how it made here feel it gives it this very spa feel natural looking da -da 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 -da. So that's all for my bathroom, so let's go work. So yeah, that's where this door leads to. So this brings us to the end of this room tour. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Now I have to send you guys out of my room. So get out.